Hey everybody, Carl Shu from Snorkel.tv, and today I'm going to be introducing you to the Green Sock Tweening Platform. Uh, this platform includes a variety of different action script classes that make programmatic animation extremely easy. Using uh, the code provided here, you'll be able to create incredibly powerful and flexible tweens that are extremely easy to manage, update, and scale. Um, what you're seeing here um, in the browser window is an animation that was built completely with ActionScript. Um, it is rewindable, scrubbable, and we can just go back a little bit and you can see some of the different effects that can be achieved with this tool. Um, we'll be coming back to this page. I'll show you how to get the ActionScript files and how to use them. Um, but first I'm going to show you just a few examples of how I've implemented between Max in my own personal projects and uh, you're really going to be impressed with what you can do with so little. Um, Jack Doyle, the man who created this class, is an absolute genius and a great man for making this all free for us to use. So I'm just going to toggle over to this tab right here and here you have just a little bit of an animation running. Um, all of this is built with just literally a small handful of lines of code um, that can mostly be copied and pasted out of uh, the tool that he provides for you. Um, and if you can just imagine doing something like this on the timeline, um, you'd probably never get it A, this smooth, or B, um, be able to make any significant changes once it was built. Um, and this is set up just to loop back and forth, nice little wavy, fun animation going to go to um, this next tab here and here I've implemented tween max just uh, as an example for navigation. If I roll over really quick you see the sort of like brightness flare up that happens. Um, if I roll over slowly you'll see that each icon will scale and get a little brighter and tween max is controlling the scale, the brightness and also the color saturation and this effect is literally again one or two lines of code to get this to work. Um, in a larger scale, I've used Tween Max for all the animation um, in this interactive puzzle game here. I'm just going to quickly hit play, and you'll notice that this image breaks up into individual tiles. They all shrink, scale out, they get shuffled, they fly in. And then now as I try to build the puzzle, Tween Max is in charge of swapping the pieces, all that animation. You know, you could never do this just on the timeline. It would be absolutely impossible to do. Um, but by reusing um, a very basic uh, line of code, I can basically say everything, every piece that I'm dropping off, make sure the piece that I'm swapping with goes back to where I'm pulling a piece from. And so now, let me just build this really quickly so you're not wasting a lot of time. But watch what happens when I win. This is really cool. And again, it's all powered by Tween Max. The whole thing flips around. Whenever a piece is in the right place, it get that little bit of a brightness flare up, it's all handled by Tween Max. And we can start with something like a small puzzle like this. And if I go to create another puzzle really quick, I can take another image. And just to show you, if I change the difficulty to Smarty Pants and then hit play, um, now I have 48 tiles that Tween Max is very quickly um, scaling, randomly shuffling, and putting back into place. And so obviously this puzzle here is going to take me a little bit more time to solve. But again, Tween Max is responsible for all that animation. And it's an incredibly powerful tool that you can use. And you can literally start using it just by copying and pasting some code. And then you can slowly memorize or learn all the different particulars of it. So hopefully you're a little bit excited about learning how to use Tween Max. So let's go back to the Green Sock page. And basically, um, if you click on Tweening Platform V11 or on the Tween Max link, you'll be taken to pages that allow you to download the files. Once you download, you're basically going to be asked to uh, agree not to do anything bad, and then you're just going to get a zip file. Um, let's disagree for now. And in that zip file, let's minimize my browser window, um, you're going to have this green sock AS3 folder. It comes with a variety of subfolders. Um, we're going to be mostly interested in the COM folder. That folder contains all of the action script that you're basically going to be plugging into. This COM folder needs to be next to whatever FLA file you're working on. 
So I have my project folder over here. I'm just going to take a com and I'm going to drag a copy of it over here. And that means that any of these FLA files will not have access to all the power of between Macs. We have some demo Swifts, which are really cool. If we just open up basics.swift, this tool allows us to basically build our tweens and it will generate the code for us. So if I want this thing just to slide left to right, that would be an X property change, right? So let's just, let me just drag this thing over here and hit tween. And you'll notice that it slid. And now I get all the code that I need. First line imports all the green sock files that I need for that motion. And I only need to do that once per file. And then this is the line that makes the object move. We're saying tell tween light to move an object to a certain position. The object we're moving is something called MC. The next parameter is one for how long it will take. If I make that four, you'll see the next time I do this, actually, I'm sorry, I would change the duration here to four and hit tween, then the code updates, and now it takes four seconds to move over. I can move the target here, and we can tween it back, and it gives me all the values that I need. Now, that's a long tween. Let's just bring that down to maybe uh, one second. And if we want to use easing, I can say let's do a bounce ease out. Okay, so that means it's going to bounce at the end. Boom. And look at that. I didn't have to write any crazy math, and it does a really smooth and fast bounce. Um, maybe also I want to do some scaling. Uh, maybe I want to make this four times as big as it normally is. Hit tween. Boom. There you go. And there's all the code that I need. So I just want to show you very quickly how I can implement this into a file. I'm going to literally just copy all that out. Maybe I love that bounce. Copy out that code. Um, I'm going to be working in this FLA file called Simple Tween. I already have it opened up in Flash. And this movie clip here has an instance name of New Game. So let's open up my Actions panel. And on layer one, I'm just going to paste in that code. And let's see what happens. Test my movie out. Nothing. All right, Carl, you idiot. I have to put in the instance name of my clip. I'm going to say new game. And then now that clip will scale. Now it's scaling from its registration point, which is in the top left-hand corner. So let's move this over a little bit. And there we go. It's getting very big. If I want it to go smaller, I don't need to monkey around on the stage. I can just say, you know what, let's just make it twice as big as it should be. And there we go, we have a nice little uh, bounce tween there. Let's see what else I can change. Maybe we want it to slide across the stage. So let's get rid of the scale X and scale Y. And I'm going to plug in, just change your X property to be 300. There you go. How easy was that? Now let's go back and experiment with some other properties that we can change really quick. I'm going to go to uh, back to that folder that I got, and here we have Plugin Explorer. And plugins, for the most part, refer to different filters that you can change. I'm not going to go through the whole list right now, but let's just click on Blur Filter and get an example. Again, it gives you the import statements that you need, and we can also change around the properties. Let's just do a quick tween, and you'll notice now that that symbol gets blurry. So what I'm going to do is maybe... Um, just copy this code right here. We already have that other stuff. We're going to copy it, go back to Flash, and let's just paste now this one line of code. And what I'm going to do is just type in the instance name of my movie clip, New Game, and now that text gets blurry. What's really cool about Tween Max as well is that we can not only tween to a particular setting of properties, I can do a tween from. So I can put my object in Flash as I want it to appear, and when I test my movie, it's going to start blurry and then get clear. And this is incredibly powerful, because if I wanted this thing to slide over, I could literally put it on the stage where I want it, and then say tween from off stage. Now i got to wrap it up, it's getting towards the end. Um, but the next tutorials are really going to blow your mind. Thanks for watching.